Hello and welcome back to our Reaper surround tutorials. This time it's about the different automation modes in Reaper. We use mainly the read mode, since the read mode simply reads whatever automation has been written in my session on the timeline. So for example here we see the automation going on the rear surround pan plugin. It's the one we've been uh, writing in the last tutorial. If I want to delete a, a section, I can highlight on the timeline, highlight the envelope, press X or right-click delete points or delete points in time selection. <clears throat> Another cool hint you might want to know is how can I see the GUI in my uh, crack control panel. I can open up the FX, open up the plugin and it only works with uh, Cocos plugins and some JS. So I found out the master limiter can't be seen. It doesn't have the show embedded UI in TCP. Uh, externals don't have it either. The channel mapper does have it, but it doesn't uh, make a lot of sense to have it in here. But uh, what I think is quite useful is to have a look at uh, the rear surround pan. So this one we don't need. But uh, the rear surround pan I think is quite useful since we can have a look at all of them and we see what's going on in our session in the panning. There's also a shortcut for that, a toggle. It's uh, option shift uh, arrow up. So with option shift arrow up, I can show the, the user interface for the last selected plugin. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the read mode is selected up here in our config by pressing on the, on the R button. The touch mode is same procedure, it arms all tracks. And we have a shortcut for that, which is J. Uh, so with J, you enter the, the touch mode. With H, you enter the read mode. And when you are in touch mode, you can basically show every envelope line you want to, to do automation for. So if we stay with, with for example, the the, the surround automation, we can delete the points in here. I can open up the resurround pan plugin. I can go into play mode and you see how I'm writing automation here. Control Z deletes my automation I've been just writing. I can also do this in here. Needs to be a bit bigger. Let's see what we've done. Okay, so that's my touch mode for a one to six uh, resurround pen plugin. If we move on to a stereo version, stereo input, let's go up here. I have a stereo resurround pen 2 to 6 and I can connect the two parameters. When I shift click on the second puck, or deselect and only use one. Hmm. So as soon as they are connected with shift click, you can use both at the same time. And then it's uh, basically same procedure in touch mode. Simply go into play, 
start writing automation. As Jeroen al already told you, you can uh, deselect this tick here, respect X, Epsilon, Z, flip, and just stay in, uh, in one area. Hmm? Okay, let's undo these automation lines here. That's my touch mode. When I've done my automation, I can go back to read mode so I don't accidentally uh, uh, automate something I don't want to automate. I can also do it in here, go back into touch mode, pressing J, write automation, go back into read mode, either by clicking or using the shortcut. Okay, now another automation mode is the so-called latch preview mode. I use this uh, mode, for example, to automate an EQ, not dynamic, static automation. So, for example, uh, when I need to set a low cut or something like this, I use the latch preview mode. I personally don't use the button here, I always use the shortcut, which is Shift P. And I'm now in latch preview mode. And what I can do now is I can do a selection and I can uh, put the values. For example, let's see, that's where I want to have my, my stereo track for this selection. I go in stop. Since I'm still in the FX window, I need to click once on the edit window and then I write this new value to my envelopes, shift P. So it's twice shift P and I have for this selection the new value. If I want to change something, for example, for, for this part here, I highlight the part I go back into latch preview mode with shift P, I do my new panning. I can do this either in play or in stop mode. I do it in stop mode now. I jump back into my edit window, press shift P and the second time I hit shift P, it also jumps back into read mode at the end of the of the command line. So press shift P, use either play mode or uh, or stop mode to do a new value. Go back into the edit window, press shift P again and as soon as you see, ah, okay, it jumped back into read mode since the read mode is not uh, colored, then you know, ah, okay, it's written. Uh, I think it's useful, for example, if I need to do um, uh, an EQ also. So, for, ex for example, I have this voice here, this little part of the voice. It's muted. Nous nous sommes vus plusieurs fois par semaine. Nous nous sommes vus plus... I jump back into my shift, P, latch preview mode, I open up my rear EQ. Nous nous sommes vus plusieurs bit, fois par semaine. There's a lot of bass here, so nous nous sommes vus plusieurs fois par semaine. Nous nous sommes vus plusieurs fois par semaine. Nous That's nous sommes maybe vus plusieurs fois par what I think is suitable. And I go back into my edit window by pressing once, I press shift P and I write my new value. Okay, one thing, uh, we have the action transition time, which is set to one frame here, a little bit less than one frame, I think it's 40 milliseconds, and you can change this by jumping into your preferences with command, uh, command comma, and go into, I think it's here, the automation, action transition time, I can put this also to, let's say, 
500 milliseconds if I want to have slow uh, action transition. I think to write automation, EQs, pannings, usually these 40 seconds are, um, are, are very well. Uh, and But maybe sometime you, you want to do it different and you can apply it here. So to sum it up, I think the new automation modes you know now, the read mode, the preview, uh, latch preview mode and the touch mode, they all serve a certain purpose. They're sometimes handy or not. So as soon as I want to write a, uh, a static automation, I usually use the, the latch preview mode. If I want to do a dynamic automation over the timeline, if it's foley's, they need to be precise. I, I do it in read mode and I, I simply drag lines uh, by hand. And if I want to do a dynamic automation, for example, on panning, if it doesn't need to be, uh, if it's more like sound design-ish, uh, maybe a, the panning on the, on, the, on the music, how much in the surround, how much in front, sometimes maybe I want to uh, highlight something, in, in the image by, by uh, going from left, right, or, or left surround, right surround to the center with, with uh, maybe the violin or whatever instrument. I do this uh, also in touch mode. What I sometimes also do is I write an EQ automation in uh, ledge preview mode. So with shift P, I do the static automation and then I simply drag the points back. For example, if I need uh, a low cut here, but not in this section, I can simply do this uh, very quick by hand. Mm -hmm. This is the automation modes in Reaper. Have fun with it. We have a lot of fun and uh, see you back soon. Bye-bye.